Hello and welcome to week five of our mystery block of the week and the block this time is Old Maid's Puzzle and we're not really doing anything we haven't done before but I do want to talk about grain line just a little bit and how you sew this block together. Okay, so you've started off cutting squares that are three and an eighth. The directions tell you to draw a line from corner to corner on the background. And if you've been quilting for a while, you know that upon occasion, when you sew these guys together, one tends to scoot off the other and then your squares are not completely square or the same size. A trick that, that I've learned, and maybe you already know this, but if you match your grain line crosswise to crosswise, lengthwise to lengthwise, then you tend to not have this problem. So once you've cut, sometimes you don't know what that is, and all you have to do is give a pull test. If you notice here, I've got a little bit of give. Right here, I don't have any give, okay? This is lengthwise, this is crosswise. Lengthwise doesn't have any, crosswise has some. So I wanna match lengthwise to lengthwise, crosswise to crosswise. Now I can stitch a quarter of an inch on either side, and when I get done, they should still be matching each other. They shouldn't have slipped past. So then I'll take those and I will cut on that drawn line and I'll end up with two triangle squares. For one part of this, I have a triangle square. I'm taking it and I am sewing a triangle to adjacent sides to give me this unit. And then to that, I will be sewing my dark. So I will end up with a square that looks like this. I have pressed my seam allowances to my light triangles here, which is what we don't typically do, but it's what it wants to do. And then on this one, I am pressing towards the dark. This square right here should measure five inches when I get done. Then I have my triangle squares here of my medium. And when I'm at home, I use an iron and not my thumbnails. But here we're using thumbnails. Then I'm going to trim off my rabbit ears, like so, or a pair of scissors if you're nervous about that. Then I'm taking these, these will point into each other. Then I have plain squares that I'm adding here and here. I'll make a four patch, I'm making two of these, and I'm making two of these, and then I'll sew my block together. And I'll be okay, so we have our block sewn together. Each one of these increments should measure five inches before you sew it into the block. When it's done, it should be nine and a half. And we'll see you next week.